And authorities are looking for a Kansas City Chiefs player. They say left the scene of a six-vehicle crash on a Dallas highway. The chain reaction crash happened in an area known for street racing, and it was all caught on camera. ABC's Maria Virial is in Dallas with the latest. In just his first year in the NFL, Rishi Rice played a huge role helping the Kansas City Chiefs to their epic overtime Super Bowl win over the 49ers. Oh, they shouldn't have been up. And he goes. Rice has the first down. And he's out of bounds at the 40. It's crazy. Uh, I just sat in the end zone and watched the confetti fall. I, I wasn't even over there with the team. It's just kind of, it's really surreal right now. But sources telling our Dallas station WFAA that police are searching for the wide receiver after a car believed to be registered or leased to Rice was involved in this major multi-vehicle accident in Dallas. Dash cam showing the moment two drivers, one in this Corvette and one in this Lamborghini, were speeding when they lost control. The Lamborghini travels onto the shoulder and hits the center median wall, creating a chain reaction involving four other vehicles. Authorities say the occupants of the speeding vehicles all ran away from the scene without stopping to determine if anyone needed medical help. You can see here as three yet to be identified men exit the vehicle on foot. TMZ Sports capturing this photo of the aftermath as they walk down the busy highway shoulder. It's potentially a felony in Texas to leave the scene of an accident. And depending on the circumstances as to whether it will be a potential felony or misdemeanor charge. ABC News has reached out to Rice and the Kansas City Chiefs and have not yet received comment. ABC's Maria Virial joins me now from Dallas with more on this. Maria, how are authorities saying Rashi Rice could be connected to this crash? Well, you know, Diane, you saw the videos, and there are definitely pictures from not just drivers involved, but people that pulled over to try and help in the situation. Um, obviously, it does look like him in those videos and in those pictures, but on top of that, one of the vehicles is actually registered under his name as either the owner or somebody who is leasing the vehicle. So, again, at this point, police have said they do believe there is some sort of involvement with Rice here. They'd like to talk to him, but we are getting from several sources that a number of attorneys are now involved in the case and in the situation. So I think they are trying to negotiate what is the best option for him to come in and speak with police at this point. So could Rice face charges? There is potential for that. You know, in the state of Texas, you can face charges if you don't stop and render aid after an accident involved. I mean, we all know that if you get into any sort of accident, even a fender bender, you're supposed to be pulling over uh, and exchanging insurance, you know, information. Uh, it doesn't always mean that police officers will come and, and uh, take a report down, but that is the law in the state of Texas that you need to pull over. The fact that he didn't does raise some major issues, not just for uh, Rice in this situation, but also the other driver that was involved as well. So what are police saying about those injured in the crash? You know, at this point, Diane, we understand uh, this accident happened on Saturday. At the time, there were four people that were reporting injuries that are in several of the vehicles that were involved in the accident. Um, two of them were taken to the hospital, but last we checked, they were recently released. So that is a bit of good news here. But again, we do know that at least one of the occupants in one of the other vehicles, uh, not the one that, that is presumed to be street racing, they have also obtained uh, an attorney in the situation, and that person is looking into just just what happened. Um, I mean, this this area, this uh, particular uh, stretch of highway here in Dallas is known for being a magnet for street racing. So still a lot more investigating uh, going to happen here in this case. All right, Maria Virial in Dallas. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.